welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, I am looking for the uh, new Fanta mystery, what the Fanta uh, slushies. They have come out with a green one that has been popping up at Circle K and Wawa and a few other places, but, but, 7-Eleven and Speedway reportedly have a red or red orange colored one so i'm excited to find that i'm looking aggressively uh, we're at our first 7-eleven of the hunt and instead i found a strawberry melon brisk freeze so i wanted to try that i hadn't seen it before and uh, i don't know if they're doing another uh, limited time drink i d did not see brisk blood orange nor did i see uh, the brisk blood orange freeze here at slushy or slurpy here at 7 11 so don't know if that's on the way out and we're getting strawberry melon or what but here i am doing the review so you don't have to try it you might want to try it if you like uh strawberry melon things last i i don't remember the last time i reviewed things but something like this but the last time i remember something like this being important it was when they had was it supernova mountain dew had supernova and everybody seemed to really like that i would really like a shot at it i would really like to try strawberry melon that would be a, i feel like that would be a good strawberry uh, that would be a good mountain dew flavor and i'm sure it was but i didn't start trying things until 2017 when i stopped being picky and then i stopped my diet and I should have stick to my diet. But anyways, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share this video, and check out my Instagram Red Neck Snack. So we're gonna try and make that look good. And then, of course, on this side, we'll have the, the little art, the logo and everything on that side. All right, so let's quickly try this. That's interesting. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. I'm not used to getting such a sweet uh, Slurpee. They're usually more laid back, more carbonated. Of course, this is brisk tea, so it's not really carbonated. I think they want to pay respects to that brand by leaving out carbonation here. But there's a hint of it. There's always got to be a hint of salt somewhere, right? Keeps the freshness in every beverage. Except for milk. I wouldn't put salt in milk. But there is salted caramel, which does originate with milk in a way. Okay. Hmm. I really do like this. It's just really sweet. And I think just the mixture of strawberry and melon kind of make it hard for me to depict either one. But I can tell what what they're going for. And it's just a fruity beverage that everyone should pretty much enjoy unless you're not a sugar dude. Then it might hurt you. Then it might kill you. You might be like, ah, this is a sugar bomb. Which a lot of people do gripe and complain about sugar bombs. But my key takeaway is fruity and it's sweet. But it's it's not lacking it's not bad. It's very enjoyable. It's very refreshing. One of my flavor, favorite Slurpees I've had in a while uh, because I've just had some misses with their Slurpees. Not my favorite freeze in a while because Circle K's really been, you know, uh, nailing those. But they did a really good job on this. I think what, what I get from it... it a good chunk of it is mostly strawberry, even though it's titled Watermelon Strawberry. Yeah, that's very good. Little hints of sour, too, which is always a good thing to include in this. So, where would I put this? It's not perfect. Like, I wish I could dep depict the flavors a little bit more. But it's very refreshing. Albeit a bit too sweet for some. I think putting this at an 8 would be fair. I think, you know, I really enjoy it. And I think a lot of people will enjoy it. It's not laid back. It is very forward. But it is refreshing. So, 8 out of 10. 
go check it out if your 7-Eleven has it. It's a good option to choose. Anyways, that is my review. I'm sticking to it, and I will see y'all around. Yeah, yeah.